Isekai. The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 41, Servant. Up on stage, Zhao Yan finally finishes reading Circulation of Law. In the beginning, the surroundings were silent before a whispered discussion erupted. The students did not understand the meaning behind the essay but found that the words and citations were gorgeous. But the Darren sitting at the male side of the banquet understood the depth, and even though this essay seems inconsequential it could inadvertently point out the loopholes in Ming Chi's laws and made clever suggestions on what changes to make. For a student, this was somewhat inconceivable. The examiners on the stage did not expect that Zhao Yan was someone who hid his real knowledge. But rules were meant to be kept thus when they were suspicious of student performance, they would be tested, just like Shen Miao's painting before. In all fairness, this circulation of law was much superior to Shen Miao's painting as it was well written and practical. The examiner questioned, as per the essay that was read out, Ming Chi's laws cover a wide scope, and as for the subcategories, what kind of breakdown should there be? Zhao Yan's heart jumped for joy. Other than that circulation of law in the manuscript, there was also a question that was the same as what the examiner had asked. He was grateful to the person who helped him by writing this manuscript and thought to reward some more money in the future. Therefore he calmly raised his head and answered accordingly to the manuscript. It is divided into three portions. Merchant's portion, official's portion, and commoner's portion should respectively. Off the stage, historian advisor Jing was grinning from ear to ear. To reach his position in the official circle, he only relied on the emperor's support and his wide network. As for real abilities, he did not have any. It was good that he had a Jiao Jing a good son who could help him to deal with a lot of matters at his young age. Now with his second son who had displayed such unusual improvements in talents, he had to go to his ancestral hall to burn two big incense sticks as offerings. Zhao Jing was smarter than his father and did not believe that his own younger brother could possess such wisdom. To be this eloquent even with the examiner's question, it could not be that he was able to bribe even the examiners. Thus, Zhao Jing was unable to understand at all. Pei Lang picked the teacup on the table to take a sip but his hand was somewhat trembling. He did not know why, but every sentence that Zhao Yan spoke to felt as if was imprinted in his mind. That kind of familiarity made him feel ridiculous and the anxiety in his heart could not be quelled. Su Ming Lang took a short nap and upon waking up he saw the people around him staring at Zhao Yan. Yan with a look of appreciation. He tugged Master Su's sleeves and asked, Father, is what he spoke well? A highly talented youth. Father Su directly commented. Su Ming Lang pouted as if it was incomprehensible. After turning around and not seeing Su Ming Fang's figure, he asked, Why is oldest brother not back? Master Su lightly coughed, Now that your eldest brother is weak, it is actually with great reservations that he came today. So let him rest for a while more. Fu Zayu Yi heard the commotion there and glanced at Master Su. Seeing that Master Su was not even changing his expression when mentioning Su Ming Feng, he then moved his sight back thoughtfully. In any case, Zhao Yan has fought today's battle very beautifully and as for the questions that the examiners posed, he could answer them naturally and thus dispelled the suspicion in everyone's heart. Needless to say, he naturally had gotten a first rank. The ranking was only the second thing as from this day onwards when one mentions about historian advisor Jing, other than Zhao Jing, 
everyone would know that he had a highly talented second son. Zhao Yan stepped down the stage complacently. This round of selecting ended like this and it was now the turn of the selecting category for the female group. Feng and Ning did not go up the stage as she had already won the first rank in Kin, and since she had already gotten the Kin in the drawing lots category and was not particularly gifted in other areas, there was no need to go up on stage. Shen King chose chess as she was good at calculation which was a slight advantage when playing chess. As expected for Shen Yu, she chose Kin. Shen Yu had always loved things that could highlight her refined appearance and because Chen Razayu has good Kin skills and could also compose some music and lyrics, Shen Yu then learned these skills well. Every year she would rank first and it was during this time that everyone would be able to listen and appreciate her kin's abilities. In the female group, once there was Shen Yu in there, the others would not pick the Ken category and disgrace themselves. Shen King naturally also put in a lot of hard work and had gotten the first rank in the chess category. After going around, it was time for Ken and the audience started to discuss again. Shen Yu went up the stage and washed her hands in incense. She was born with an air of gratefulness and a gentle appearance that was truly moving. With a light smile on her lips, she had an appearance of a little fairy. The piece she played was Singing to the Moon. Singing to the Moon was an extremely difficult piece and was about a distant traveler who was missing their homeland and loved ones. The beginning was gentle and wistful, followed by intense sadness before making one sob at the end. This piece tested the skills and talents of the player and was also an emotional piece. In the last lifetime, Shen Yu also made use of this piece to gain the limelight and for some time no one was second to her. As compared to Shen Miao who was much lower than her, it was even more unbearable. Now to think about it, every time Shen Yu gained a favorable reputation, it was stepping on Shen Miao's sorry situation to climb up. Shen Miao looked towards the young lady on the stage. Shen Yu had started, as she plucked the kin's strings. It was as if the strings had spirits of their own, spreading their ethereal sound under her soft and gentle hands to everyone's ears. Her fingers on the kin's strings were like butterflies weaving through the sea of flowers. Each turn was well coordinated with nature. Feng and Ning bit her lips. Even if she did not like Shen Yu, she had to admit that Shen Yu's skin skills were outstanding. Upon comparison, the piece she played to get first rank was very clumsy. This was a piece of missing one's loved ones and homeland but it made Shen Miao clench her fists. Even if she lived her life again, those who were dead cannot be resurrected. Wan Yu and Fu Ming would no longer appear. Shen Yu's song was like a resentful knell. When one heard it, not only there was no comfort, it was filled with blood enmity. Kai Len ran out of the banquet as he was thinking of getting closer to the stage so that he can look at every single expression of his beloved. He was drunk in the beautiful Ken sounds when suddenly someone's conversation interrupted. Second young lady is truly unlucky. She has never gotten second place before and the first position was unexpectedly won by fifth young lady with tricks. The one talking was a slender servant, which Kai Lin recognized as Shen Yu's personal maid, so he involuntarily looked over. That's not only it. In addition, fifth young lady did not even want to participate in the selecting category and it's obvious that she is setting herself against second young lady. The other servant said, I, unfortunately, our second young lady is good-hearted and has suffered a heap of anger from fifth young lady. It was not because of fifth young lady reliance on first master that she could treat second young lady like this. Second young lady is truly pitiful. She has prepared for so long but was robbed of the fruit without any reason. If only someone was able to help second young lady to vent it out. 
for example, calling fifth young lady to the stage during the challenging category? What nonsense you speak about! The other person interrupted her words, everyone knows that fifth young lady does not know the four scholarly arts. If they were to pick fifth young lady, it would be akin to lowering their position. I see that it is not possible for the female group, but if someone on the male group were to challenge her, that would then be venting for second young lady. The conversation gradually softened and Kai Lin's eyes moved. Looking at Shen Yu on the stage, he had an idea in his mind.